Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be explaining what it means for a CBN to float a currency. Many people have been uh, worried about, okay, the CBN has floated the Naira. Is it going to affect the Naira? Is the Naira going to fall further? Or is going to, the Naira is going to appreciate? And I'll be explaining in simple terminologies what floating a currency really means. So when a CBN actually floats a currency like the Naira, what it means is that the exchange rate is going to be determined by the market forces of supply and demand rather than the CBN actually pegging the exchange rate to a particular price and that is what the CBN has been doing in respect to the Naira and that's why sometimes you will hear that okay Aboki is selling this uh is selling it this price uh the Naira is falling at this rate and the CBN will come out to say no the Naira is not falling at the rate that people are talking about as far as as we are concerned this is actually the uh the value of the naira so in recent years the rate of the naira in uh, in respect to the dollar has actually been pegged by the uh by the cbn but now it has that but now that it has been floated it means that the market forces are going to come into play so money is actually used in economy so our naira will actually reflect the true value of our economy right now so now the market forces of supply and demand will be what we determine uh the value of our naira so in a floating exchange rate our uh, system the value of the currency fluctuates freely in response to factors such as economic condition and one of the most important uh, things that comes to play here is trade balances trade balances in the aspect of imports and exports when there is an imbalance in trade in imports and exports there it will actually show in the value of the currency for example in nigeria we are more of consuming than we are a producing country for example you may go to chigozi and sound to buy your laptop for 300,000 naira but the 300,000 naira that you purchase your laptop is actually the equivalent of the dollar that Chigozi and Son actually use in purchasing in importing that laptop but you may think you're buying it in naira but you are indirectly buying that same computer even though you you pay in naira but you are indirectly buying it in dollars and this is why also you go to aliexpress right now you you will see a a, a price you will see a commodity for three hundred thousand for fifty thousand and then you want to buy it with your atm and then you will be declined simply because the amount is processed in us dollar in the equivalent of the naira so even though you are buying in naira you are also part of the system placing demand on the dollar if everything you are buying are imported you know and when you import it you don't pay for it and never you pay for it in the demanded currency which is highly likely in dollars so this is so if we only consume and we do not produce that is there is no export the export will also place demand on our own naira as well but when there is actually a balance between import and export then the import will actually place demand on uh the foreign currency but the exports will also place demand on the local currency and then our currency will be valuable it should be balanced but you know for example our naira is actually at the rate of 700 above so it actually shows that we consume more than we produce but if the rate at which the rate at which nigeria actually imports is maintained then that same rate is going to be maintained but if the rate at which nigeria imports goods is accelerates if it increase then that means uh never will fall further but if it the rate at which we import is increased and the rate at which we export also increased like it's at equilibrium then the uh the value will be maintained but if we actually import more and then you know if we import if we export more then there will be more demand on our naira then our naira is going to increase as well so the trade balances is one of the uh major reason that sets the uh the rates of exchange in a floating economy so if naira is being if the demand on the naira because nigeria is producing and you know when you produce you export your product and then you will be able in the end the naira will actually increase in value but if we are only consuming we are not producing then everything we are consuming is imported then there will only be a uh, uh, pressure on the then there will only be demand on the foreign currency and then the naira will actually continue to fall at, at the rate of how much we are consuming and we are not producing and for example let me give you a practical example if you are actually if you buy innocent car right now you know innocent car is made in nigeria if 
almost all the uh, materials are locally sourced then you buy from innocent that means there is actually a reduction in demand for uh for the dollar because instead of buying from toyota you are placing more demand on uh on the on the for, on foreign currency instead of buying from toyota buying from toyota buying from other for imported cars means you are placing demand on foreign currency but if you buy from a uh, innocent vehicle you are not placing demand on foreign currency you are actually using local currency but now if innocent vehicle is now exporting the cars to other countries that means there is a demand as well on the naira and this will actually help the economy and another thing that also important that will determine the rate uh, in the floating economy is market expectation on uh, which is which is actually contingent on the economic condition when the economic condition is good there will be a lot of forecasts different forecasts that okay this is the trajectory that the market is going to go because of this policy because of these laws these are uh, there will be an expectation of the market there will be a forecast and then when it comes to international uh, exchange international exchange where different people who are interested in buying currency when they know that the economic condition is good and the forecast is also good they will buy the naira and when they buy the naira there are there is actually demand on the naira and these people are people that actually buy in box they buy billions of naira buy billions of dollars if the economy of a nation is good you know international uh exchange are uh, people who trade in fx you no, know, just FX. It's not as if they are buying goods, not as if they are exporting anything. But because they know that the economy is booming, there is actually a positive expectation of the market. Then they will buy the currency of that country. And if the expectation is negative as well, they will sell. They will release uh, the currency that they believe that the economy of the nation is not in good condition so the economic condition will actually determine market expectation either positive or negative which is quite important and then trade balances will also come into play and then there is also a case whereby we have a managed floating where the cbn can still come into play to manage a wide fluctuation if the market is actually fluctuating you know be beyond what is expected and it may actually damage the local currency the cbn can come into play and manage the situation by increasing or in by increasing or decreasing the interest rate by releasing more naira into the economy or by withholding the naira or by releasing more dollar into the into this into circulation and the like so there are different strings that the cbn can pull in a managed floating uh, system but in an overhaul floating system there is no uh in intervention by the cbn and of course we don't know the one that nigeria is going to practice if it's going to be managed or it's not going to be managed and one advantage of this floating uh floating the never is that there will be more uh healthy competition in international trades many companies want to do international trade but because they wouldn't want to compete because they cannot compete with people who are getting their effects from cbn and you know there may be a case of favoritism and selection in the uh, people that CBN provides uh, the effects for and when these people bring in their goods they do their business in the standard rates not the black market then people who couldn't get that same rate we actually be, will not be able to you know sell at the same price and you know when you want to sell to people and your price is exorbitant and someone else is selling the same thing and their price is more uh, minimal they will go to the person who actually sells at a more minimized cost so right now that there is uh there is no restriction that everybody can source for their fx that means there will be one rate by the banks by the cbn and also by everybody who is actually everybody can source different ways for their fx so this will actually enhance international trades and no one will be left at the mercy of cbn anymore and another disadvantage for people who want to study abroad is that you know now that uh the uh but now that is that the naira has been floated they will also have to source for their uh for the exchange rates to pay their school fee in wherever they want the cbn will not provide it again or they may provide it but even if they provide it it won't be uh at the rate that it used to be it will be at a general rate that everybody is actually providing the rate and this will actually mean if you want to pay your school fee right now you have to pay you have to pay at the rate of above 700 naira per dollars so that is all i want to explain to you i hope you've been able to learn what floating the naira means can you like this video can you subscribe to this channel i talk about entrepreneurship everything an entrepreneur needs to know teaching about skills website design and digital marketing making money online and everything that an entrepreneur needs to know hopefully see you in subsequent videos